Hey guys, what's up? Tyler from TPGS, and in today's episode, we're going to be using a PHP, not using, sorry, we're going to be making a PHP contact us form. This contact us form is going to have three stages of validation. It's going to check if the name has been entered, it's going to check if the email has been entered, and it's going to check if any comments have been entered. If they have, it will send an email to us saying that we have a new contact us form submitted. If not, the form won't be submitted. Now, I have to rush through this video because I've already done it a couple of times and it's been too long for YouTube. So, um, Sorry if it gets a little bit confusing, but I do have to rush through it. I'll try to explain it as much as I can. So let's get started by opening up our PHP tags. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a first if statement of PHP. And this is going to be if if set dollar underscore post um, square bracket single quotation mark single quotation mark square bracket. And in the middle of those single quotation marks, you want to type in submit. Now then, that if if set function will check if the um, form has been submitted. Now note that we've put submit in lowercase. We need to remember what that is for a little bit later on. So this is what we want to. So in this space now, in between these curly brackets, we want to say this is what PHP will execute if the form has been submitted. We'll come back to that a little bit later. Because if it hasn't, obviously we want it to display the uh, HTML form. Now there's two ways of doing that. You can either echo the form out, as some people tend to do, or you can also simply do what I'm about to do and close off those PHP tags and open them again for the final curly brace here, which means that you can now use your syntax editor of your text editor to enter your um, HTML. And you see how that is uh, giving me syntax highlights of HTML? It wouldn't if I was echoing something. So form action equals contact.php and method equals post. Now notice how we're using post here and post here. If we used to use get, we'd have to use get here. So I, I, I tend to use post. So in the middle of our form tag, we're going to do a name field, which will be input type equals text. Name, now remember the name, because the name is very important. I've called it name for this, because it's um, the name field. Whatever name you call it here, you need to remember when we go back to our PHP code at the top. So input type your text, uh, name equals name, and that should do for that. And we'll put a couple of brick tags at the end of that. Oops. I don't know if you don't know any of this, just go back to um, some of the HTML tutorials and you should be able to pick up some of this. I think we cover some basic forms in HTML tutorials. So now we'll do email, which is in effect going to be exactly the same um, very uh, attributes as the name field, other than the fact that the name of this field will be email, obviously. And again, a couple more break tags in there. Now I'm going to do comments, and this is where we can put in a text area. Now, a text area is a bigger box than um, these fields here, and it's not an input, so I'll show you how to do that. And the way you do a text area is by simply doing text area, and then this can have the same attributes of the input type so you can have text area name equals comments and then we're going to some define some rows so the rows will put to 20 and calls will be 40 now that'll give us a nice a nice text area sorry about that and if you wanted to put any uh, text in there you could do but we don't need to okay so another couple of break tags not doing too well with these break tags today, but put a couple of more in. And then input type equals submit. This is going to create our button. Name equals, now see how this name up here was submit. We need to make sure this is submit. So in the exact same casing. And then value equals send form. I'll put space like that. Okay, so that's basically our form completed. So what we can do now is we can go back to PHP. And we need to define some variables. Now these variables basically make it easier for us to um, remember and type things over and over again. So see how I'm typing in dollar underscore post email, dollar underscore post name. When we if we started building advanced scripts, we'd have to keep remembering that. We'd have to keep using that dollar underscore post email, dollar underscore post comments. So rather than typing that all over, to all of them we can. 
every single time we want to use it, we can just type dollar comments and it will substitute dollar comments for dollar underscore post comments. And so that's basically for the form. We're now just going to define the um, variables for the email. So dollar two, you can put your email here. So you put your email there. The subject new contact us form and then the message which will use some PHP so a new message has been sent by dollar email now slash n basically adds it to a new line um, the message was dollar error uh, comments the details name dollar name email dollar email and that's pretty much all we need and then after that you just put a semicolon okay so now I want to check put in our validation so we can just do if dollar name which will check if, the, if anything's been entered in the name field else I'm just going to echo out please enter your name. I'm just speeding up here because I'm just checking on the time. Okay, if it has, if something has been entered in the name, we want to check if they've entered something in the email. And then else, please echo, please enter an email address. And then if they've entered an email address, we want to check if they've entered some comments. So if dollar comments else echo please enter some comments if all that's been completed we want to send an email so we do mail open up the mail function the mail function is pretty obvious it sends an email in the, f the first part of the function we want to set this string to is obviously where we want to go it to where we want to send the email to sorry which we've defined up here with dollar two so we don't have to keep typing the email address in and down with the subject dollar subject and with the message dollar message put a semicolon at the end and your form is good to go let's make sure we've got everything right seems about right okay now we need to save it as contact.php because that's what we've called it so we'll say this is contact.php and this is how that's in Firefox. So let's check what happens when we click send form. Please enter your name. Let's do your name. Please enter an email address. Email address. And then please enter some comments. Comments. Now you see how the screen does blank because what we actually want to do is just underneath this mail function, we want to put echo thank you for your comments and that's just basically going to echo out a message once the mail function has been sent so if we go back and we'll just refresh it again we'll just enter some emails so we'll do connor tpgs at tpgs dot tpgs we haven't got a, a website and then some comments here it should send the form off lovely and we got thank you for your comments Okay, so those um, comments have been sent. So that was basically the quick way of making a PHP contact thus far. I'm sorry that um, it was a little bit rushed, but I had to try and squeeze in all of the um, PHP code and things like that. Come back around next tutorial, we'll be looking at how to make a feedback form. That will probably end up being a two or three part tutorial, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, all the source code can be found in the description. I'll paste it in there as well as paste in a link to. Um, a paste bin so you can look at it there. So that was a contact us form. Don't forget when you actually receive the contact form, contact us form to change your email here to the email address that you want the form to be submitted to. And then, that, what, and then obviously it will email it to you. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the link in the description. It'll also help you get your free prizes as well as some great prizes that we can give away in our competition. And don't forget to view our competition video as well. And you'll find all the relevant all the relevant links to the programs that I've used today and that I've used in all my other videos 
in the description as well. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.